Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, on today, uh, I tried to show you uh, the basic concept, including um, the difference for uh, break, continue, and exit uh, for uh, jumping and control uh, for loops in chapter four for C++ programming. Uh, so. Uh, what is the main point for break, uh, continue, and exit? Those uh, keywords or function in C++ programming, uh, we will see in together. So uh, when you come to uh, the continue or the keyword or the function of continue, uh, for instance, uh, 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 before the, I come to uh, the examples, continue, break, and exit, uh, helps to control and jump uh, for the loop or the execution of the program during the iteration, right? So uh, those iteration or the execution of the program uh, for the loop, it may be a while loop, do while loop, or for loop. Uh, you may be use a while loop, or you may be use do while loop or uh, for loop. So uh, what is the basic function or the basic concept of continue? Uh, break and exit uh, for uh, those uh, looping uh, program. So for instance, from those uh, loops uh, uh, to see the difference and uh, the basic concept of these three words, uh, I uh, can show in a while loop, but you can uh, check by yourself either uh, do while loop or for loop, it's the same. Uh, just I want to show you what is the concept of continue break and exit. So, uh, as you know, while loop at the beginning is uh, testing the condition is evaluated or checking the condition, then a statement or body of the loop is executed if this condition is uh, true, right? So, as far as this testing condition or uh, this uh, checking the condition is true, this loop of the body is iterated till this uh, checking the condition become a force, right? So looping of the body from here to here. So by updating the initial value of the variable, the iteration is continuous sequentially, right? When we call or when we call this continue keyword or function, it escapes the currently execution of the loop rather than aborting the loop, right? The entire of the loop is continue. As you have seen on here, if we call the continue, it escapes on that or the current execution of the iteration and come back again the loop checking right that it does not abort the loop and finally uh, after this condition is fulfilled or it becomes a false outside of the loop instruction is also executed or uh, running uh, when it comes to the break when we come to the break, uh, within the while loop also, uh, when we call or when we use the break instruction, it automatically aborts the loop, right? This is the loop of the body that executed uh, repeatedly within the update of the initial variable value. But when we call the break, it automatically abort or terminate the loop and go to the next instruction that are written outside of the loop, right? It terminates the loop or it aborts the loop, but in continue, it escapes on that iteration, but the loop of the iteration or the entire of the loop is continued till the testing condition it becomes a force. But this break in a structure or break keywords before fulfilled the natural condition or before it becomes uh, this testing condition is false when we call the break it automatically aborts the loop right when we can when we come to uh, the last uh, function which are exit within the parentheses 
on this parenthesis you must be uh, give some value it may be a zero it may be a one or it may be a negative one or any other ones but you cannot leave as you have seen on here it's a void or it's a null must be give a value it may be a zero just like this one for instance i give on here uh, instead of the parenthesis i already give the value of zero if you uh, this inside of the parents it become empty uh, it's uh, totally wrong you can give minus one one zero point five any values you must be give instead of uh, this uh, instead of the parents right then when we call this exit function it abortes the loop as well as the program right it abort not only the loop but also the program it terminates or shut down the program and return the result to the operating system as you have seen on here the break it abort the loop or it automatically when we call the break instruction it come on here outside of the loop and if there is any type of an instruction outside of the loop that is written it executed and uh, uh, return the result uh, that execute before this break uh, instruction uh, is calling but when you come to exit it terminates the loop as well as outside of the loop it terminates or shut down the program right and as you have seen on here leave from the program rather than leave from the uh, uh, loops or it terminates or it closes the loop as well as the program these are uh, the basic difference of continue break and uh, exit or these are the basic concept of a uh, continue break and exit for instance uh, within a short word break abort terminate or close only the loop but the program is continue or any program that written or any type of instruction or statement that written outside of the loop is executed it only abort or it only terminate or end the loop right which are break or the main function of break is this one it aborts only the loop it's not the program but it's only on the loop right Continue, it escapes on that iteration, but continue the loop, right? The next iteration is continue, but only on that value or only on uh, the current execution of the program is escape or jump, right? When the exit, when you come to uh, the exit, it abort the loop as well as the program, or you can uh, say it abort the program, right? Uh, if any type of instruction or statement that written outside of uh, uh, the loop it, it also ignore or it cannot be executed when we call uh, the exit function so uh, let me show a simple example how can we differentiate this one within the while loop for instance i want to add five random numbers by using the while loop let me declare i is equals to a one uh, for counting then in order to keep uh, taken uh, n number of uh, inputs which are uh, five from the uh, user or from the keyboard let me declare n and sum as equals to zero because i want to add five random numbers that i have taken uh, from uh, the keyword then while uh, this count till uh, the value becomes uh, five then i less than or equals to uh, five First one to five is so the count uh, it becomes a five then uh, the while loop is executed or uh, the loop of the iteration is written seems like for this one uh, let me uh, take uh, the uh, number from the keyboard which are in uh, in order to take an uh, then sum is equal to sum plus n because i wanna as uh, also add this which are the random number then i want to display the result on here see how uh, the sum is the sum of uh five uh, numbers five uh, these are uh, five numbers is a uh, random it may be a negative positive float or any other ones but i declare already as int on here so uh uh, the sum of five numbers uh, random random uh, the sum of five random numbers uh, then uh, is equals to uh, then uh, uh, the variable is sum then uh, end uh, in order to begin uh, the new line for uh, 
the screen. So uh, this program is int is equal to one. These are the count, or you can uh, substitute this one uh, count or count just like zone because it's a keyword. So you can this one is capital count. Count is equals to one, then uh, you must be change this value uh, on here uh, rather than I uh, because I already changing from that one. Then, as you have seen on here, int count the data type is integer, then count is equals to one. Uh, then n uh, n is the random number uh, which are uh, five. Uh, and the sum at the beginning of the initial, the sum is clear and or as declared as zero, while count less than or equals to five because the first one is one, second, then seen in uh, rather than in, uh, yeah, this is n because uh, the number, the number which are five, then sum is equal to sum plus n, uh, then finally I want to display uh, the, the, their sums. So, um, oh my goodness, uh, for the instance before on here, uh, see out, uh, uh, see out, see out, uh, then enter, enter uh, five uh, numbers, then uh, backslash means n in order to uh, take an each number in new line, then I already have taken this number with this scene. Then let me execute this one for instance. Oh, uh, sorry, this one, <laughs> the value must be, uh, the count must be increased, right? Sorry, oh my goodness. Uh, plus, plus, sorry what I made, I already forgot. So uh, when um, I execute this program, uh, for instance, let me give uh, minus one, uh, minus uh, two, uh, two, uh, one, uh, then uh, zero. So when we add these numbers, minus one plus minus two minus three, then uh, two plus one is three, three minus th minus three plus three it becomes zero. So the output it becomes a zero. So the sum of five uh, random number is zero and uh, hello world uh, text is displayed. So uh, the another example, for instance, uh, let me give uh, another value. For instance, one, uh, two, uh, two, uh, three, uh, then uh, four. For instance, when I add this value is one plus two is three, three plus two uh, five plus three eight plus two uh, twelve. So the sum of five random number is twelve, and if you read the text is display because there is an output on here. So uh, for instance, I wanted to use uh, on here uh, break for instance uh, if if uh, n uh, less than uh, zero in a sense uh, I wanted to add only positive numbers right uh, break. Uh, so uh, if n less than zero, in a sense, the uh, random number, it's if if the uh, the random number is less than zero, it automatically terminate uh, the loop, right? It automatically terminate the loop and uh, display any type of instructions are there outside of uh, the loop. So uh, let me execute this program. For instance, uh, after I have taken uh, the uh, number which are n from the user, then check if that number is positive or negative. In a sense, if n less than zero, it becomes a negative. So it aborts the loop and uh, go to uh, the next instruction, which are outside of the loop, right? So let me execute this program. For the instance, I wanna give one, uh, two, then let me give minus, uh, Sorry, so uh, minus three uh, check the function uh, one greater than zero is correct. So two uh, after it takes uh, two from the keyboard, which are greater than zero, it's correct. But minus three less than zero. So it have both the loops and uh, add one plus two, it becomes three. So the sum of random number is equal to three and lower it is display. Because but I want to add five numbers, but because of this minus three or the break is detected, the number is less than three. So abort the loops, right? So the sum of five random number, it becomes a three because this minus one is less than uh, three. So uh, let me uh, change this one by continue. 
continuum. Uh, so this continuum is escape if the number is less than the given number is less than zero. It escapes that number and continues the iteration till it gets five positive number, right? Rather than uh, leave or abort uh, the loop. That's the difference. For instance, uh, let me give one, uh, two, uh, minus uh, three. So rather than abort, continue to next time iteration till it have got uh, five positive number. So uh, two, uh, then let me give zero. Uh, as you have seen on here, uh, it have taken six numbers out Be because it only senses the positive number one, two, then it jumps minus three. For instance, in normally when we add those numbers, one plus two, three, three minus uh, three, it becomes a zero and the result it becomes a zero. But uh, because of uh, if the number is less than zero, uh, it escapes uh, that number by using the continuous direction. Uh, the other one, let me show you exit. Exit in the parenthesis, you must be give the value. So this exit uh, works, this exit works. If the number is less than zero, it terminates the program, right? Uh, when we use uh, exit function, for instance, uh, uh, when we use the exit function, uh, if n less than zero, if n uh, less than zero, uh, when we call this exit function, uh, it terminates the program, right? It already shifts down the program. When uh, it sends or detects that object or that uh, value, uh, it does not work anything, simply uh, exit from the program. Uh, for instance, as you have seen on here, there are two programs outside of uh, the loop because the loop is uh, from here to here, but when we reach or when we give the value which are less than zero or the end value becomes a negative, uh, this exit function uh, is already uh, uh, called or if, if this uh, exit function is rich, so it terminates or shift down the program. So uh, for instance, uh, uh, let me give a value one, then a two, then a minus a three. So it uh, automatically terminates the program when I enter this one because this minus three is less than zero or the end value is minus three. So minus three uh, is less than zero. Uh, so because of this exit function, it terminates uh, the program not only for uh, the loop, right? So as you have seen on here, I didn't see any results. Uh, simply uh, it finishes, it seems like for this one. So if you uh, are new, don't forget to uh, like, uh, subscribe, and share my YouTube channel. Have a nice time. I really love you guys. Uh, bye.